Let's talk to Jamie Jenkins because, of course, uh, the immigration figures that came out yesterday uh, are now worthy of a little bit of examination. We found out that uh, they've gone up by 1%, and the front page of The Times says migration has fueled a record rise in our own UK population. 68.3 million now. Jamie, very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing? Good to speak to you after so long. It's been too long, man. We must, must get you on more. Um, this is a fantastic um, story for you to kind of dissect. And I spoke to um, a professor at Southampton University yesterday who was actually quite good at saying, you know, we know, for example, that of the 700,000 people that left the country last year, about half of those people were British people leaving to go and live in other, you know, English-speaking countries like Canada, like New Zealand, like Australia, like South Africa. So, in fact, what we're doing is we're losing say, upwards of 300, 350,000, you know, homegrown Brits every single year, and they're effectively being replaced by people coming in from sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. Yeah, and what the figures are showing, Mike, if you take the kind of the population growth within one year, you, you rightly call out there, you've got net migration of around 662,000, but that is the sum of all the people who come in less, the people who leave. So right. we are seeing some replacement in the population and what that 662,000 means mike is if you think of the population of cardiff you know the national capital of wales 1.8 times more people came to britain or the uk in one year than the whole of the population of cardiff so amazing the difficulty you've got there mike is that you know the governments have accepted mass immigration for the last 10 20 years but the infrastructure is not in place right. and then the standard of living for everybody living here diminishes when you accept these kind of numbers coming in. Well, the figure that we were given as well yesterday, comparatively speaking, because I thought it was actually, you know, more recently than that, but certainly in the last 20 years, the population has grown by 10 million. And I think you'd probably agree with me when we say we're not even sure if this is the correct number, because not everybody who comes into this country is documented. Not everybody uh, is, is, is known to the authorities. So we, we could be dealing with more like 70 million or maybe 72 million. Yeah, the figures could be higher, Mike. And why you, the stark number of, say, just call it 10 million, what it really means is, because everybody's thinking, well, what do these statistics mean for everybody in life? Mm. So if we look at the uh, kind of house prices, because one of the things we saw yesterday, Mike, in the figures is the, the number of deaths is outnumbering the number of births. And right. the last 10 or 20 years, the birth rate's been going down in the UK and in many other countries. Right. But, and the consequence of that is that people are starting families later, in part because younger people can't get on the housing ladder. So if we look well, back to 1997, across England and Wales, the average house price was about 58,000, and the salary was about 3.4 times, you know, the house price is 3.4 times yeah. the average salary. If we go to 2023, the average house price has gone up to 280,000, right. and that is eight times a person's salary. So trying to get on the housing ladder is more and more difficult because we've had this huge immigration explosion over the last 25 years without all the infrastructure in place to cope with it. And in London, Mike, you know, the average house price was only 82,000 in 1997, and it's now up to just over half a million pounds. So if you're a youngster in London now, you've got no chance of getting on the housing ladder, no chance of starting a family, and that's in part why the birth rate is going down. Right, exactly. And that's why the cities are sort of changing, aren't they? Because at the end of the day, a lot of families, if they want to have a family, uh, or have more kids they're moving out of the city because they can't afford to live there whereas what we've now got is a sort of a, a, a city that's being stuffed with with low-paid workers you know cycling around on electric bikes delivering food you know working in in coffee shops maybe you know doing jobs which are not necessarily contributing that much to the economy we've learned over the course of, of this year i would say that immigration um is not the golden ticket that, that the politicians have been telling us that it's actually a drain on society overall and all these people who go well the nhs would collapse without immigration well it's already collapsed and you know maybe that's because of immigration i don't know yeah and one of the things politicians will cite when you when you're on the show mike and you talk about the immigration figures they'll say well you know the nhs couldn't cope without immigration but you know only a small percentage of people who do come to the country actually go and work in the nhs you're right to call out there's huge numbers of people now just doing kind of delivery mm. kind of deliveries and things and, right. and then they look at the tax that they pay and they probably pay no tax at all but they are a burden on the state so ultimately mike you know the, the tory government said from 2010 with cameron we're going to get immigration down into the tens of thousands yeah. starmer's talking about the same thing but i think what the population of the uk is looking for now is a government to act to solve this problem if you're going to accept large numbers of immigrants you just got to put the infrastructure in place you can't have one without the other 
And if they not, don't seem to have the money to put the infrastructure in place, they're going to have to put some more controls in terms of the freedom of movement mm. of people coming in and out of the country. Well, absolutely right. And this is the big problem that we have, isn't it? Because, I mean, more people are leaving now because Labour are in, um, many more millionaires, and some people might say, well, good riddance. But actually, you know, these are people that contribute an awful lot of money into the exchequer. They pay an awful lot of tax, despite what people may say. You know, the richest 1% provide in income tax something like, you know, more than 30 or 40% of the take that everybody needs, right? And so at the end of the day, um, it's only going to get worse, this, isn't it? Oh, totally, Mike. If, if you do get rich people leave the country and people say, oh, well, they should be paying even more. And, and the figure you just called rightly out there is that that top 1% do pay a disproportionate amount of taxation in the country. And, and ultimately, Mike, what, what the government needs to do, because you know, there's a lot of talk about people coming across the English Channel on the boats, and obviously that's a crisis and a fact, you know, some stats that they need to sort out and, and cut their numbers. But ultimately, we have full control over where people are coming from the legal migration routes, but the government just doesn't seem to be getting a handle on it. Yeah. Let's see what Starmer does. It's one of the things that I think Sunak lost the election on. Is Sunak going to, you know, after kind of seeing Starmer come in, is he going to turn this around? I'm unsure, Mike. They don't seem to have the appetite to mm. do it. We'll see in the next few years. Absolutely. Jamie, good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed. Jamie Jenkins, independent statistician there, uh, with his view on the population figures that were published yesterday by the Office for National Statistics. We'll get a breakdown properly, by the way, of all the nationalities that are coming in. But by and large, they're coming in from outside of Eastern of, of Europe, of the European Union, and they're coming in from Sub-Saharan Africa, and they're coming in from North Africa, and they're coming in from um, uh, Asia.